What is up, party people? We are back again with another video. This one is entitled Living in Atlanta. Whole phase explained. Should every woman have one? Let's see what these ladies have to say. <laughs> okay, y'all. Uh, so today's topic is whole phase. Okay. So I would like to know from everyone, what do you guys think? Is there an age limit with the whole phase? You know, is there a certain cutoff point? Um, do you agree that everyone should have one? Uh, yeah. No, everyone should not have one. Uh, is there an age limit to the whole phase? Yes, I believe there is. Should everyone have one? I think 99% of men would say no. Also, should the whole phase be forgiven after a certain time? So ladies, what are your thoughts? Like, you so, so my question to the fellas is, is once a hoe, always a hoe? Like, if she went through a whole phase between the age of 20 and 25, and now, let's say, she's 31, she's married, she has a kid or two, and she is no longer in that, that phase of her life, should said whole phase not be uh, a penalty? I haven't had a whole phase, you know, or if you haven't had one, are you okay with your friends having one? Or do you think, if you haven't had one, do you think maybe you should have had one? Because I've even had friends that told me, like, damn, they wish they would have had a whole phase because, you know, they might have been married with the same person for years. Because, like, some people get married in high school. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And they kind of wish they would have like, had something different. Yeah. Like, 18, 19, getting married. I personally have not had a whole phase. Okay. But I heard it's really fun <laughs> and exciting <laughs> and spontaneous. And you can do so much stuff and experiences and... I feel like it kind of is like I kind of wish I would have had one just to be able to say I've been there, done that. So question on the screen is for the fellas. Should women have a whole face? So um, let us know in the comment section below because these types of things are very important. And um, I may be hashtag no ho right so let's let's redo this one so if you don't think and excuse me i'm typing as i do this so if you don't believe that women should have a hoe face then how about put in the description box below hashtag no ho right so if you are against the whole phase, which I believe most men are, then let's let the women know. And I want to put together a string of comments that men are making and put that in a video itself and to let women know that we are not okay. Men are not okay with the whole phase. So that's the question. Yeah, you think it's too late to have a whole phase? I mean, you ain't old. Yeah. Too late. For me, I feel like it's too late for me. Why is it too late if you're not married? You're not married. Yeah. But um I don't know. I'm like taking stuff a little bit more seriously, I guess. See, and the problem I have right there is like the the two sitting in the chairs are are basically egging her on, telling her that it's okay. Like, what about her future husband? See, and this is why I always have an issue with women and their lack of foresight. Like these women don't care one way or another whether or not, you know, she lives happily ever after. And if she was concerned and that that really was her friend and she really wanted her to live happily ever after, she would encourage her to think heavily about what her future husband would think about that. And not only that, what would her children think um, if they found out that their mom was was a hoe. Right now I'm older. I'm 30 now. So I just feel like I look at things a little bit differently. Like I don't like dealing with dudes who gonna waste my time and I just kinda only like men who uh who's responsible, who wanna be kinda like a a good a good uh role model for my son basically. So So she wants a man who's a good role model for her son. So Right there, single mom. 
So now she wants a guy who's responsible. She probably dealt with the Pookies and the Ray Rays and these kind of guys, the guys that got her pregnant and left her hanging. And now she wants a guy who has all these different qualities where she didn't want him before. So this is what we're telling you ladies out there, ladies who are watching. We don't want to be a second option. Men don't want to be your backup plan. We don't want that. I can see if you're in your 20s and you don't really know what you want, then don't make a commitment like that. Don't commit to the Pookies and the Ray Rays by having a child with one of them. Don't do it. You know, it's different if you're dating them, right? Like a lot of men can potentially put the fact that you slept around with different guys out of their mind. But once you show up with one or two, three, four children in tow, there ain't no putting that out of your mind. We know where you've been and what you've been doing. And we don't want to be back up. We don't. I really don't even like to even deal with dudes who I'm just with them just to have some fun kind of thing. I don't know. Okay. Maybe that's why. But... So it, it, you got to look at look, look at the way that she's dressed. Ladies and gentlemen, look at it. Her breasts are hanging out. She's got the long, no, the long nails on, the long fake lashes, the, the fake eyebrows. I mean, she, her cleavage, she's showing everything. So why wouldn't a guy want you for just fun? That's what you're advertising. That's what you're showing. See, and look at the left hand of the two women in the chair that are egging her on. Neither one of them are married. Neither one of them have a husband. And, of course, they're not going to get one with that type of mentality. Who would ever marry somebody like that? And then they're putting it out there in the street. This is a video. Like, it's on my channel now. So, it's public property. It's out there. So any guy that's dealing with these women already know that these women have been ran through. I don't want a woman who's ran through. No man does. No man will take you seriously. And don't mistake sex for commitment. To be able to say, you know, I've done more. Because I feel like I have not. I, I got pregnant at an early age. Um, Buki and Ray Ray. To mommy mode, working, having my own place, uh, being responsible, trying to be the role model for him, and making sure I, you know, I was, I was just more focused on raising him and uh, building a foundation for us. So, in some ways, yeah, because I feel like I didn't get a chance to do the fun college days, like you know, being on campus, only worried about me. Um, that that part, I would, you know, I wish I could have had that. What about you, Luke? Me? <laughs> <laughs> yes. What about you? You, 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 team whole phase, or did you have a whole phase? Or? <laughs> <laughs> well, I've always been in a relationship, mm -hmm. so no. But I said I'm about to. I told y'all. Like, oh, so you about, so you about to? So it's a hot girl summer. So it's a hot girl so, summer now. Yes. Really? Okay. So okay. Like. Okay, so she says no, she's never been a whole phase. I don't believe it. I'm going to give her the buzzer on that one. I actually think she has been through a whole phase, just from her reaction. And then she says she's about to go into one. She's about to get her swerve on. And we all know that women, you can get sex anywhere, anytime you want. You can. That's just part of being a woman. There's somebody that will lay down and sleep with you. Somebody will. Will it be somebody of quality, somebody of substance? Probably not. I'm sorry, like I've I've been in relationships, like they don't work. So right now I'm just like, let me have fun. Maybe you don't work. If you've been in, let's say, <laughs> ten relationships and they're all went bad, maybe you are the problem. Are you the common denominator in each one of those situations? Everybody's bad. Not every man is bad. That's that's just the way it is. Not every woman is bad either. I'll say that much. But if you've had 10 relationships in your lifetime and all of them went bad, what is wrong with you? Yes, what it is. Like, fine for fine. Fine like, for fine. Fine for fine. 
because like I am, you know, ain't nobody wasting my time. I'm wasting their time. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it is and that's good when you go she in. Wrote, you she write about that. Yeah. Like, yeah. Like, yeah. yeah. Right. But definitely after, you, you know, after okay. I get, you know, after I feel good about it, then I might settle down, you know. What about, I mean, maybe, maybe like, what's a whole day? Maybe a whole day, not a whole phase. Like, I, mean, I don't want to be like a whole oh, this okay. season will be that's, in a that's whole maybe I could just be a whole one day with one like, person that's like girl okay she said a whole for one day with one person that's not being a hoe if you if you it's it's gotta be multiple people multiple people I would say at least three and three and a couple weeks time yeah you, we're looking at whole whole territory right there but if you're talking about just one person one day that's not being a hoe So the problem with that is you got to know who her friends are. If she's got good, wholesome, and I would say a lot of times like church going, right? Like we know that there are some women and men that go to church that are just off the chains. But if you've got somebody who's just a really kind hearted, sweet individual, you know that she would never do anything wrong or bad around your woman, with your woman. She totally, completely respects your relationship with the man. She supports you being with the man. Even when your girlfriend is being a little crazy, she comes back and she's like, hey, um, Maybe you should not do this or not do that. She's checking her friend, right? I'm checking you, girl, because you're wrong in this situation. So that's the type of friend that you want your woman to be around. You know what I mean? So if you go on a girl's trip with somebody like that, okay. But if she 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 in the streets, mm-mm. I could even yeah. like, so he was like, so yeah, she did have all the pictures in the background, you know what I'm saying? Like... <laughs> Her in Vegas with her homegirl, but it was a dude there paying for everything. So I was like, I mean, I've 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 heard niggas say that like, oh, bitches going on trips, they they doing some whole shit. Like, no, girls do have trips. Like, we went on a trip mm-hmm. for your birthday. Like, you know what I'm yeah. saying? Like, we go on trips. Like, girls can pay for their own trips. But I do understand too. Like, yes, most likely when you see a bitch on a jet, or you see a bitch doing this, you don't have to check it. Bad. Like, yeah. stop flexing. So, I mean, yeah, I get it, but. So, anyway, guys, should every woman have one? You know, that's the question. Guys, if you think that women should not, hashtag it down below. No ho, right? <laughs> no ho. Uh, let's just put that out there. Let's, let's get that started. Get it trending. No ho, you know, and uh, I'll make a follow-up video to this one. Um, I'm probably going to make a couple of them regarding the this whole phase anyway gentlemen and ladies if you're here too thanks for hanging out with us remember to bless us with the subscribe you know kind of hit that button let us know that you love us you support the channel and um, thanks for hanging out with us we'll see you next time peace